So I've got my first painting commission and I thought it would be pretty cool to vlog the process from start to finish. So join me in painting Orcs 40k. It's coming right up. Wow! Nick speaking and welcome to this vlog and if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40k then please subscribe and hit the bell button to turn on all no blah, 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 to turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload. Right today is a very exciting day because I am going to be painting orcs and I have Necron Girl here with me who's never seen an orc before, have you? No. No? So, what we're gonna do is have a look at the commission. I've still got to um, build them. So, literally, this video is gonna be from start, from packet to finished model. So, so, let's have a look at the orcs that we've got. So, first of all, we've got two of these orc pain boys. So, this is what an orc looks like, Necron Girl. Oh. Got green skin, a bit like the Hulk. <laughs> oh. So I've got two of those to paint. I've got two of, th sorry, three of these, and these are Bone Splitters War, War Gog Prophets, which I believe are going to be Weird Boys. Uh, so three of those, and this one I've actually painted already uh, previously. So in here is. Captain Bad Ruck, of course, fine cast, fine cast, and plastic. Thank goodness, one plastic one at least. <laughs> so, I need to get a building, so that's what I'm gonna do. What was that, what did I do? You put it on my face. I put it on your face, what yeah, do you mean? Yeah, like, like, just, just, just <laughs> did like, I? like this and like. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, did I? Oh well, yes, sorry. Okay, so I've now built the models, so let's have a look at them. Right, here they are. So, starting on the left, we've got Captain Badruck. I did drill out his gun barrel on the gun. Let's just try and zoom in a little. Got my extra wide angled lens on. Uh, lots of cleaning up on the fine cast. To be fair, um, as you already know, I don't like fine cast much. And to be honest with you, uh, a lot of the stuff on here that I had to do was almost like remoulding the thing, uh, where there was just so much like extra fine cast on there that it just shouldn't be there. It was a bit of a nightmare, but let's not talk about fine cast. So I've got him there. I left his head, backpack, and sword arm off for painting. And as you can see, I pinned him to the cork as well. Eventually, I will pin them to the bases. And then we've got this guy here, obviously there's three of them, so not a lot I could do with these really. And to be fair, the commission is just to paint these models, not to convert them. However, I wanted to make them slightly different, so what I did is I put the staff on at a different angle for all three models, leaving the head, the squig and the leg off just to make them easier to paint. Then over here we've got these two pain boys. Now these are very detailed models, however, they're only really um, poseable in one way. I mean, with some conversion work, you obviously could change them up. Like I said, this commission is about painting. However, I've come up with a little thing to hopefully try to make these a little bit different. Wow! Now this commission is for my good buddy Richard, Capitan Morgan's War Games. His YouTube channel is linked in the description below. Now, of course I play against him quite a lot and mainly I play Necrons. His other gaming buddy also plays Necrons. So I went into my bits box and I found this little section of a wraith. I'm going to use this to change up one of the pain boys. So what I did is I got this old wraith and I drilled some holes in the top and I put three pins to look as if it had been ripped off of the body and my plan is to glue it into that claw so it looks as if he's ripped it off and that would just make those two models slightly different and add something extra in for Richard. I'm sure he'll love it. It will be a surprise so I'm going to show him all the updated pictures as the commission takes place. 
except for that little wraith thing in there which I'm going to put in just before I give them to him. Of course this video has gone up long after he's received the models all finished. Right, now I need to get these guys all primed up. Okay, so I'm ready for spraying and I forgot to mention, I've got the bases for these. Now Richard supplied me with these bases and they are actually all painted, but I have requested that I repaint them. Uh, so Richard said that is fine. So I'm going to spray everything up here and I'm going to use Chaos Black. Now of course where I've got these in little bits for painting purposes, what I've done is I've actually blue tacked these to the board because what tends to happen when you prime with your sp uh, spray paint is the spray sort of blows these bits around so I'm going to blue tack them on spray one side let it thoroughly dry turn them over and then spray the other side okay so there you go all primed and ready for painting now I have this little system for my corks I actually stick a coin to the bottom of the cork and this is some magnetic strip which I just got off of eBay and it means that those are magnetized on there so they don't fall over very very useful Right, all primed, so let's get painting. Okay, so I have been painting. Now I have quite an unusual way of painting orcs. Probably the only person in the world that paints them this way. So let's have a look at them. So under here, this is what I've done so far. So I've basically gone in and I've dry brushed them in a silver colour. First of all iron breaker and then bolt gun metal. Now the reason why I do this is because A, uh, a lot of the orc stuff tends to be quite metal work orientated anyway so I think it's a good starting point and B, when I'm painting those brighter colours over the top like the reds, the yellows, the blues, it will help keep those colours nice and bright so it also has another advantage actually and that's um, it allows me to see the detail a bit better so what I find is there's so much detail on these guys that occasionally when they're just black primed it's just difficult to see the detail uh, so when they're painted in this silver colour I find it just a lot easier to see them. Now the three weird boys here on the right hand side they're of course actually Age of Sigma models. I think everyone uses these models as weird, weird boys. Uh, they're pretty cool models. However, they're not particularly 40K-ish. So my plan is to make them a little bit more 40K. Hence, and once again, bringing the metal uh, work onto the models. So like I said, slightly unusual. Uh, maybe no one else in the world paints them like this but I find it works for me. So now I've done the silver work I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the skin. So let's get some base coats down on the skin. Okay so I've just laid down the skin colour. So I've done two coats of war flesh all over the orc skin. Obviously Captain Badruck doesn't really have much orc skin to be fair just his head and hands. Uh, however, these guys have a fair bit of green skin, which is great because I really enjoy painting green skin. So, I've laid those down. Now to the other colours. The three weird boys here, I've got instructions to make them loud looking, so some nice bright colours. These guys here in the middle I can paint however I like. And Captain Badruck need to look as much like the pirate as I can get him. So I'm going to continue to paint. Okay, so it's my day off today, so I'm going to do a day of painting. However, I have been doing a reasonable amount of painting already on the base coats. Now I was originally going to base coat all six models in one go. However, I decided to, in the end just to concentrate on the three weird boys. Just try and make the project a little bit more condensed down. So let's have a look at the weird boys. Okay, so here are the three weird boys, and my task was to make them bright and loud coloured looking. So that's what I did. So first of all I started on the cloaks, working out the three colours I was going to use. So I went for blue, yellow and red. I noticed that Richard had his rims of his bases, those particular colours, already. So I thought that would be a good starting point. I then found the opposite colour on the colour wheel, 
to do the feathers on the heads and also on the tabards at the front. So orange of course with the blue and then we've got purple with the yellow. Now in actual fact green is the opposite colour on red however uh, right next to green is a light blue so I went for light blue as well plus Richard has light blue on some of his bases so I thought that was a good starting point. Uh, now the head itself I've done currently all of the feathers on the top in that opposite colour this could be a bit tricky on camera uh, but it's gonna look something like that I've gone in and done blue on the little tabard things that are hanging down there now I still need to go in and do the skull colours um, so I'm going to do that of course I've gone in and done some of the leather work as well on the pouches etc now, on the back of these I've kept them with the silver colour at the moment. I'm trying to make these as 40k looking as I can. Now depending on how they look um, towards the end of the project, I may go in these big sections on the back here, almost the spine. I might change the colour of those. But I'm quite liking the idea of having these in this metal colour. I think, as I said, it will make them look a little bit more 40k and less fantasy looking. So mainly on here now it's the skulls and then I need to work on this staff. I'm probably going to have a metal staff and then work some details in at the top. But really happy how they're looking. I have of course left the masks here in this metal colour. I've currently just painted the eye slots there red. The orc eyes are going to be red on these models. I have done a little bit of work on the pain boys but not much. Just using some of the colours up that I had on the palette. So I've done the trousers of these guys here. I've done that on the other one as well. So that is what I've done so far. As I said today, I'm going to have a day of painting. So let's get cracking with some more. Right, I've just been painting for five hours and the weird boys are fully base coated. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so here we go. This is how they're looking. I'm really happy with them to be fair. Now I must admit that the fine cast did cause me a few problems. As I was painting I was finding bits and pieces that I had actually missed uh, from when I cleaned them up so I had to clean them up and repaint them afterwards. Uh, but putting fine cast aside, these were actually a lot of fun to paint. And as you can see I've now completed all of the different colours. I added in one more colour onto each of the models uh, using the little section at the top there, the little feather. I've also added that colour to the side which I'll show you in a second. So I painted the gold uh, on there as well and also I've done the skulls as well. So I've been painting for about five hours uh, but really chuffed with how these are looking. So let's just turn them around. So I did add in some a colour on there. I went for gold and I gave them some gold sleeves as well and you can see I've brought that colour down into the little orc face just on there so let's just turn them all around there you go so my plan is on the swords I'm going to uh, wash them with a wash which, with a colour which matches this so this is going to get a blue uh, sword it's not really a sword is it a knife thing so it's going to get a blue one uh, and then this one's going to get can't see from this angle they go an orange one and then this one's going to get a red one, so they'll all have different colours knives. So that is those. Now I need to base coat the Pain Boys. So I'm going to get cracking on with those. Okay, so there are the Pain Boys all base coated. I pretty much went from the Games Workshop website on a lot of the colours, just adding my own as well. And of course I wanted to paint them both slightly different but keeping them in line with each other. So effectively I've got one with blue wiring and one with red wiring. Just rotate them round. I've also used different colours here and there as well. So for example this one's got purple trousers and the strapping on this one is purple whereas this one's just got the leather type colour. Really happy how they're looking. I have to say there's a lot of detail on these things. I sort of thought I was finishing up and then realised there was more stuff to paint and it seemed never ending but a lot of fun. Of course I've done the vials as well. I went in with a grey colour first to represent the glass and then I painted some liquid in the vials. Of course they've got to be uh, highlighted up. 
along with everything else when they're washed. Now I've also been painting the wraith which is going to be in this guy's claw. I've decided to paint it in the Novok dynasty because well I didn't want it to be in my dynasty colours of course these orcs would have no chance ripping my dynasty's wraith in half. So I've put it into the Novok dynasty colours and it also adds some red into this model. I think I'm going to put it into this one, the blue one, rather than in the red one. I think it'll be too red. So that's what I'm thinking for that. Right, that is those done. So now I've got to base coat Badruck. Okay, so Richard wanted me to paint Captain Badruck as much as I could like a pirate. And of course, the most popular pirate at the moment is Captain Jack Sparrow. So I got this picture up and I used this as my inspiration for the colour scheme on Captain Badruck. So I've now base coated most of this model, so let's have a quick look at it. Okay, so here he is, this is how he's looking. So I've pretty much base coated everything except for a few extra bits and pieces I want to do. I'm going to do that all at the end. I've still got the backpack to do on this guy as well. But I think I'm going to wash and highlight what I've got here first. So I can see how it looks and then gradually add the other colours onto the model. So let me just spin him around for you. I think I've got the colourations pretty spot on compared to that picture that you just saw. Just spin him around at the back here. Now although this guy is actually wearing a full sort of jacket, I tried to make it like uh, the pirate sort of picture so I've actually done it as if this was a sleeveless jacket and I've painted sort of shirt arms on there and I think it actually works quite well. Of course I've got some detailing to do, this back section needs to be done and some of the jewellery etc. Just looking at this back section and just a quick mention uh, of fine cast, absolutely hate it. The last bad, bad ruck model that I painted was in metal, no problems at all. This one in fine cast it's just dreadful. As I was painting I was finding bits and pieces that I still hadn't cut off, that I'd missed. So I had to go in and this section here is actually broken just at the bottom, although as it's sort of a, a metal sort of look it's not going to be too bad. Um, I just paint it up as if it is actually damaged. Um, but yeah, fine cast, hate it. Anyway let me just take off his head and you can just sort of see some of the extra work that I've been doing just down on here as well. So that is how he's looking. That's all six models now base coated. So now it's time to wash them. Wah! Okay, so I've now washed everything on these little minis. Now today is an incredibly hot day, uh, which helps the drying time of the wash, which was pretty good. As you can see, they are starting to really take shape now. That's the three weird boys. And you can see on their little knives there, I've gone in with the wash, which I was talking about earlier, to match in some of the other details. Hopefully once they're highlighted, they're going to look really cool. So that's those guys, and then moving across, we've got the two uh, pain boys. Yeah, that's the one. Two pain boys there, and of course, Captain Bad Ruck, which I am going to do some more detailing of at a later stage. But my first job is going to be to highlight all of the orc skin. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I enjoy doing that. And hopefully they're going to look super cool when finished. So I'm going to work on the skin and I'll be back. Okay, actually I totally forgot. I've also finished the bases. So let me just zoom in. So I basically try to follow what Richard does on his bases. Uh, just making them as good as I can. So I did the rims of them different colours. The three on the left there are going to be for the weird boys. Bad Ruck on that blue C base at the back on the right hand side and then the two pain boys, those two on the front there. And as you can see I've uh, washed in the recesses of those. Excuse the noise, it's so hot I've got to have the window open. Uh, so yeah, I've washed the recesses and just out of reference on all of the washes over on these guys, because I didn't really say, is I went in with the appropriate colour over the appropriate base coat. So the green had a green wash, the blue had a blue wash, the orange had an orange wash, etc, etc. Right, on to the orc skin. Okay, so it's many days and many hours later, however, the orc skin is done. 
So I went over the base coat with a war boss green. I did three thin coats. I layered the paint on, just leaving the recessed areas. And then I went in with Strachan Green. Again, I did three layers and I just feathered the Strachan Green in to give me a highlight, a nice transition. And this is the result. So let me just zoom in a bit so you can see them hopefully a bit better. I'm really happy how they're looking. And now that the skin's done, I feel like I'm really making good progress on these guys. So next up, I'm going to start doing, obviously, the other detailing. I'm probably going to start with the bone colour. Now, I still need to do the teeth on these guys as well. But I'll probably do all of those fine little details right at the end. First, I want to get as many of these highlights done as I can. So I am going to get cracking with the highlights. Okay, so here we are 13 hours later. I've been very busy highlighting and now I've finished the weird boys with the exception of their squigs and I've done some more work on the other three models which I'll show you in a bit. First of all though, the weird boys. Now of course I have been showing Richard pictures as I've been painting these. He seems very happy with them and I have to say I'm really happy with them as well. I think I hit the mark with bright colours but also making them fit into the army quite nicely as well. I like the contrasting colours that I went for with the orange and blue, the blue and red and the purple and yellow. I think it works really well. The colours are bright but I think they tie in together very nicely indeed. Now in the end I went for edge highlighting on the cloaks. Let me just turn them around so you can see the back as well. Okay, so there's the back of the models. And I started off with the yellow one. I was always going to do edge highlighting on that one because I'm basically painting it very similar to how I would do an Imperial Fist army. So I edge highlighted that one with the Ushabti bone. Once I'd done that, I thought the edge highlighting actually works really well for these capes. So I stuck to edge highlighting for the other two capes. And like I said, I think it came out really nicely. Right, so let's have a look at the other three models. Okay, so that's how the other three models are looking, starting with the Pain Boys. I've nearly finished those actually. I've still got to highlight the blue and the red and do those little effects in the little canisters. And I want to do some more work on the metal work as well. But they're coming along really nicely. I've now just glued on the two arms because the last highlighting, I really want to make sure I get the highlights coming down in the right position. Then on the left there, Captain Badruck, as you can see, I've been highlighting him. I've done the bone colour and I've done his cape and I've done his little tabard and his shirt, etc. Let's just turn them around so you can see the back as well. Okay, so that's them from the back and as you can see, they're coming along really nicely. Badruck's highlights are quite subtle. I'm really going for that pirate feel and of course I've still got to paint his backpack. I've done his head and I've done his sword arm. They're pretty much finished. And again, I'm going to paint the backpack, the banner, at the end. I'm thinking on the banner I might try to make it into a pirate sort of flag fill. So it will be black maybe with the white sort of orc skull and crossbones on there. Might look pretty cool. So that's how they're looking. Before I get on to Bad Ruck, I am going to finish the two pain boys. Okay, so I was supposed to be painting the Pain Boys next. In actual fact, I have painted them and they're finished. So we're going to have a look at them in a second. But before I painted them, I got a little bit inspired. I found myself with an hour spare. and I didn't think it was long enough to actually start work on the Pain Boys. So I actually did Bad Ruck's Banner Pole, or at least I've base coated it and I've done some highlighting. So as you know, I'm painting him like Jack Sparrow, like a pirate. And I thought it would be pretty cool to make his banner pole look like a pirate flag. Now I did some research, believe it or not, on pirate flags. I know they're black, of course, with a white skull and crossbones. But in actual fact, there's quite a number of those flags that also have a red accent colour to it. And I thought that was ideal for the banner pole. So let's have a look at the banner and then we'll have a look at the two finished pain boys. Okay, so there you go, that is how the banner pole is looking at the moment. So I've got 
mainly black as the colour, which is obviously representing the flag, and then the skull and crossbones are painted white. I've also washed that, I haven't highlighted it yet. However, I have painted the red and highlighted the red as well. I've also painted the Space Marine helmet. I went for a blue colour. I'm going to try to bring that blue colour into Bad Ruck himself so that it looks pleasing to the eye. I've still got to highlight the skull and the teeth on there and of course edge highlight the black. But that is how the banner pole was looking. Okay, so there you go. There is the two pain boys together. I'll give you a closer look at each one separately, but you can see I've tried to make them look a little bit different, even though basically they are exactly the same as a mini. One of those, of course, is going to have that Necron Wraith in his claw. So starting with this one, the red one, as I'm calling it. Uh, of course, I've highlighted all of the red. I've highlighted his little cape, his trousers and of course some of the effects I've done on those little canister things. I've tried to make them look like they're filled up with bubbling stuff. I'm really happy how they came out. It's the first time I've ever painted these canisters and of course I'm going to go in with a gloss varnish over those I think just to make them look a little bit more like glass. Now on the back of this guy we've got obviously the little grot on his back there and I've painted him. He's got uh, brown trousers matching in with some of the brown sort of leather effects that I've got on him as well, including the little brown pouch there. I've tried to make the other one look a little bit different from brown. So let's bring in the other one. Okay, so this is the other one, the blue one as I'm calling it. So once again, I've done the little special effects on the little canisters there. And just like the other one, I've painted all the details of the face, the eyes, the little lenses, his tooth. Coming around the back here, we've got the purple trousers on the grot which match in with the purple armband thing that he's got there. And then all of the leather on this one is painted black and that's obviously all edge highlighted. Just trying to make them look subtly different. So that is the Pain Boys done. Now on to Bad Ruck. Okay, there is Bad Ruck all finished. I had great fun painting this guy and of course doing that pirate theme on him made him a little bit different from the one that I previously painted. So what I did is I brought some of the reds and the blue colours down into the actual model just to help bring the model together with that coloured banner. Let me just spin him around here just a little bit. That is the back again bringing the colours down into the bottom. Added a little bit of weathering to a uh, few bits and pieces on the metalwork, painted some of the fine details like the jewellery, etc. I am really happy with him. I've shown Richard and Richard really likes him as well, which is a bonus. Right, lastly, I need to paint the squigs. Okay, so back to the paint boys and the squigs. So these are the models and the bases that I've selected for them. What I've done is I've taken the secondary small colour which I put into this little section at the top and also the knife. I've used that as the trim of the base. So we've got the orange one, the red one and of course the blue one. Now I don't really know how squigs are supposed to be painted, what coloration they're supposed to be etc. But what I did know that I wanted to do was have the squigs to complement the colours that I've got in these models. So I had a long hard think about it. What I decided to do is I'm going to paint the squigs the same colour as the capes on each of the models. So I'm going to have a red, a blue and a yellow squig. I suppose you could say that the capes are what's controlling the squigs. A little bit like a ball to a red cloth as such. Of course, I'm just making that up. I have no idea what squigs are supposed to be like. But it's going to hopefully help the models all blend together. I'm going to do a secondary colour on the little hair section, which I'll work out once I've got the base colours down. Right, let's paint these squigs and have a look what I can do. Okay, so there are the squigs all painted up. So I actually decided to use the rim colour in the hair just to help blend them all together. I'm really happy how they're looking. I think they match in quite well and also 
they bring an extra piece of detail to the models. Let's have a closer look at the squigs. Okay, so hopefully you can see them a bit better there. So I went over with the base coats, I then washed them, and then I did a few highlights as well. And then I went in, I painted the teeth, and of course the eyes, they've got green eyes. So that is all the painting done. What I need to do now is pin them to the bases. So the next clip is going to be a showcase of all of these models all finished up. And don't forget to let me know what you think of them in the comments box below. And of course, check out Richard's channel, which is linked in the description below, so that you can see these models on his channel in some of his battle reports and tactical videos. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at these orcs. Try it, just try it. Uh, hang on. Okay, now stand next to that. Where? Just... Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird when the camera's just got staring at my face. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> what? I don't... <laughs> Wah. 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 Yeah. What does that mean? It's just like an awkward cry. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Try that. Try it. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Yeah, now do it without laughing. Whoa! Yep, yeah, one more time. Whoa! Perfect, yeah, that's 